Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to go over the electronics portion of the ASVAB military placement exam. I got 20 practice problems here. What I'd highly recommend you do is have a notebook and pencil out, watch the problem, pause the video, do the best you can on the problem, unpause the video and then watch how I solve it. Uh, you should probably take an electronics course to learn all of this and work in electronics, but this should be a quick review of some of the problems that you might see on the electronics portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started right here. Number one, current flows from positive to positive, negative to positive, positive to negative, or negative to negative. Correct answer is C, positive to negative. Electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal, but conventional current assumes that the current flows out of the positive through a circuit and into the negative terminal. Number two, a current changes polarity many times per second is called direct current, reciprocating current, alternating current, AC-DC. Correct answer is C, alternating current. Number three, capacitor connected in a series obtains a resulting value, A, greater than the sum of the individual capacitors, B, equal to the sum, C, less than the sum of the smallest capacitance, produces a neutral change in capacitance values. Correct answer is C, less than that of the smallest capacitance. When capacitance are connected in a series, the total capacitance is less than any one of the series individual capacitance. Number four, the property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons. A, potential. Two, resistance. Three, inductance. Four, capacitance. Pause the video, give it a try. Correct answer is B, resistance. And that word just kind of makes sense, like it's resisting the flow of electricity. Number five, the symbol below represents A, am ammeter potentiometer, an ohmmeter, or a voltmeter? Correct answer is D, a voltmeter. So this notation right here represents a voltmeter. Number six, the symbol below represents a diode, a triode, a transducer, or a switch. Correct answer is A, a diode. In circuit diagrams, the diode is represented by a triangle with a line across the one vertex. Number seven, the instrument used to measure electrical resistance is called an ammeter, a voltmeter, a wattmeter, or an ohmmeter. Correct answer is D, an ohmmeter. An ohmmeter is an instrument for measuring electrical resistance, which is represented or reflected in ohms. Number eight, which one of the following devices protects a circuit against current overloads? A coil, a fuse, an outlet, and a condenser? Uh, B, a fuse makes the most sense. When you blow a fuse, there's too much energy going through, and that's why it blows to protect the rest of the electronics. Number nine, electronic circuits that increase the strength of electronic signals are called A, amplifiers, rectifiers, voltage dividers, or current dividers. Correct answer is A, amplifiers. To make more is to amplify. So just knowing some of the roots of the words can also help you with some of these problems. Number 10, what color wire from the following choices is not considered a hot wire? So when you're taking this test, make sure you circle not. Red, black, gray, or blue? Correct answer is gray. Phase one, phase two, and phase three are all hot. Um, use black or red or even blue. Number 11, what is commonly used in a circuit in which the flow of electricity needs to be regulated for the device to run properly. Resistance, transformer, diodes, batteries. So again, a lot of vocab. Correct answer is A, resistor. Number 12, what is the term for magnetic effects that are perpendicular to the conductor and parallel to each other? North pole, semiconductor, lines of force, electroplating. Correct answer is C, lines of force. Number 13, what happens when a wire is wrapped around an iron core and a current is sent through the wire? A chemical reaction, it gets hot, a magnetic effect, 
nothing happens? Correct answer is C, a magnetic effect. Number 14, components designed to store electrical charges are capacitors, transformers, resistors, and transistors. So if you kind of know the roots of some of these words, you, you might be able to make a good guess on this. Correct answer is capacitors. They store up capacity of electricity to give you a more starting amount of power. 15, the amount of electrical power is measured in units. The units to measure electrical power is volts, amps, watts, or ohms. Again, a vocab question. Correct answer is watts. Number 16, a device used to amplify a signal is called a diode, transformer, rectifier, transistor. Correct answer is D, transistor. Number 17, a microwave consumes 800 watts of power using a standard North American 120 volt power supply. What's the approximate amount of current flowing? 3.8 amps, 5.6 amps, 6.67, or 9 amps? Correct answer is C, 6.6 amps, because we have the 800 divided by the 120 to get 6.6 .6 amps. Number 18, which measure resistance, including anything that can limit the flow of electrons? A coulomb, a watt, an ohm, or an ampere? Correct answer is C, ohms. This is a measure of resistance. Actually, before I do number 19, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, hit that like button, and share this video with anybody else you know who needs a quick electronics review or a practice test before they take the ASVAB exam. A little bit of studying goes a long way. And you gotta remember that score on your ASVAB is an important score. It's gonna really dictate what you're able to do in the military. So put the time in up front, do as well as you can, and then hopefully get the job you wanna do. All right, number 19. The resistance in a circuit is changed from 50 ohms to 25 ohms. The voltage in the circuit remains the same. What happens to the current? Current stays the same. The current decreases by half. Not enough information to tell. The current will double. Correct answer is D. The current will have to double to keep that the same. Right? If you're going to cut that in half, then the other side of the equation is the opposite. It has to double. Number 20, the parallel circuit with resistors of 10 ohms, 10 ohms, and 5 ohms has a total resistance of 10, 5, 25, 2.5. Correct answer is D, 2.5. Here's the equation to calculate that out. You have a tenth plus a tenth plus a fifth. Uh, you need a common denominator to add that together. Common denominator is going to be 10. So this is going to be 2 tenths. So you're going to have 4 over that common denominator of tenths, or four tenths, and then the reciprocal of that is one over 0.4, or 2.5 ohms. All right, well, I hope this was a quick review, give you a little bit of an idea of what the electronics portion is gonna look like. Uh, go slow, be thorough, don't make any careless mistakes, mark up your exam as much as you can, and do the very best you can. Good luck.